If you have deep hip pain or deep groin pain, your problem is more than likely coming from your obturator nerve and obturator muscle. So this video is for you and definitely worth trying. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Cold Pelvic Floor Therapy right here in Irvine, Orange County. Deep groin pain and deep hip pain are not uncommon in people with pelvic floor dysfunction. And this video shows you how to do a nerve flossing. I've already done a video on what the flossing, flossing means. And this is not necessarily something that's being practiced on in the world of pelvic floor dysfunction. So nerve flossing of the obturator nerve, which innervates, it, it actually goes to the obturator muscle as well as your, as your um, the inner thigh area are um, important ones to do. I'm not gonna explain to you what the obturator nerve, what the pathway is. Let's just say it starts from the lower back, goes to the pelvis and the inner thigh. So to do the nerve flossing for obturator nerve, if you have hip, deep hip pain or deep groin pain, is to sit on a chair that your hip and your uh, knees are about the same height. This is a little bit higher than it needs to be, but that's as far as it's gonna uh, go. So you're gonna sit there and in this situation, let's say I have issues on the left side, what you're gonna do, we wanna uh, try to stretch the nerve and then, um, basically move the, the nerve through the sheath from one end versus the other. So what you wanna do is you wanna slide your foot out and look up and bring it back in. You can do that. Then the next step is you slide the neck out, or the leg out and bring your neck down. You can do this versus what you're trying to do is you're trying to stretch the pathway of the nerve from one end. This is one end as the other end is short and this you bring that farther end in and you look up. So you're just pulling in and out of the nerve inside its sheathing. This is a great exercise to do, but you wanna do it over time. So you don't wanna do the looking down and looking up on the same day. Maybe you wanna do it a few times and then for a few days and then start doing the looking up. This will help the nerve pathway to the area of the inner thigh, which is commonly seen with people with pelvic floor dysfunction. If you have any questions or if you have pelvic floor dysfunction that has been going on for a while, you've had internal work done, you've had all different kinds of therapies done, and it's just lingering, it's just not going away, give us a call and let's see what's going on. Thanks for watching. Take care.